So we have a right um, triangle here. We have um, B is equal to 64.2857 degrees. C is equal to 25.74 degrees, this one, this angle. And A is equal to 10. So the length of this um, of A is equal to 10. And then they want us to find B and C. So they want us to find B and C. So um, before we um, solve this problem, we have to, we, um, we first review our trigonometric ratios. So our trigonometric, trigonometric ratios. So the first one is um, so first one is the sine. So the sine ratio, sine ratio. So if you have triangle, right and right triangle, and so this is the angle X, and this is the opposite. opposite <coughs> and this is the hypotenuse so the sine ratio is equal to sine of the angle x is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse over the hypotenuse or this is simply as sine of x is equal to o over h so the next one is cosine the cosine ratio so you have this right angle sorry so this is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent so this is the angle x so cosine Cosine of x is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, or this is the, is equal to hypot adjacent over hypotenuse. The next one is the tangent ratio. So if you have right angle, and this is the angle X, so opposite over adjacent. So the tan of X is equal to the opposite over the adjacent over adjacent. Or this is the tan of x is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So now that we review our um, trigonometri trigonometric ratio ratios, then we can solve this problem. So they given us a, they give us the b. So let's write it down. So this angle is equal to sixty four point two eight. Five seven degrees and a is equal to 10 so we can now solve um, B so to solve the B we need the um, sine ratio so to solve B so we need the sine ratio so sine of X is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so the sine of this angle, 64.2857. So the sine, so to find B, we use this um, sine ratio. So the sine of X is equal to opposite 
over hypotenuse. So now the sine of 64.2857 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is B. So this is the opposite, B, over the hypotenuse, which is A, is equal to 10. So we punch in sine of 64.2857 degrees is equal to 10. So we punch in sine of 64.2857 degrees is equal to 10. And we take the sine of that, so we press sign and it's equal to 0.9009676 is equal to b over 10 and then we solve for b so we multiply by 10 so 10 and we multiply by 10 so this one cancels that one. So we just have B on the right side. So 10 times um, 0.90. So we multiply this by 10. So times 10 is equal to 9.00968 Or this is approximately B is equal to 9. So b is equal to 9 so so we can uh, then we have to find c so the c is we need this so we need um, to find this so we need to use the cosine so hy cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so to find C, we use the cosine because adjacent of over hypotenuse. So we have cosine of x is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine of 64.2857 degrees is equal to adjacent which is c over um, hypotenuse which is 10 so cosine cosine of 64.2857 then we hit the cosine so it's equal to point zero point four three three eight eight 3964 is equal to c over 10 and then we multiply everything by 10 so here cancel so we have c is equal to 10 times this so we multiply this by 10 so it's equal to 4.33883 or this is approximate, approximately 4.3. So, or 4.3, um, 4. So, we keep three, two decimals. So, here are the answer. C is equal to 4.34. B is equal to 9. So, we answered the problem.